Buckeyes have been introduced. The T-shirts have been tossed into the crowd. And someone tossing great hits all over the place. Emily Londot has been outstanding this, again this year. Emily Londot is so powerful. She's just the second player in program history to reach 2,000 career kills, 2,000 career points, and 1,000 career digs. So Emily Londot, she can do a little bit of everything. She is such a threat from everywhere on the court. And for Maryland, their big, the rock of their team, Samantha Schnitta, which originally began her collegiate journey at Ole Miss, has been everything for Maryland. She's currently leading the country in aces. She's 12th in the Big Ten in kills, averaging more than three kills per set. So they'll balance each other pretty nicely, Schnitta and Londot. It's interesting, 67 kills for, or 67 aces for Schnitta, which is outstanding. outstanding. As, as Hannah said, best in the country. Now, when we look at this matchup too, Hannah, one of the keys, and this is for both teams, errors, preventing them but staying aggressive. Yeah, and you hit the nail on the head, staying aggressive. Both teams would like to clean up some hitting errors, but they don't want to sacrifice aggression. They don't, you know, especially Ohio State's head coach, Jen Flynn Oldenburg, she told us she's not going to sub someone out because they're making errors. She wants them to go for it and be as aggressive as they can. Zoe Huang is the first server of the game, and she is also the setter. And a block right out of the get-go and a point for Maryland. That's the giant in the middle, Anastasia Russ. Anastasia, native of Pittsburgh, began her collegiate journey at Pitt. And Huang will continue. Londot, her first swing is repelled by Russ. They like Selman, a Maryland native, but that was too long off the right hand of Selman. 2 nothing Maryland. And that right there is one of the errors that Ohio State has struggled with all season. They've been missing wide and long with their attacks, and that's what we saw right there. Now, their first couple attempts were a tip and a roll shot, but that's not going to cut it either. A little long on the serve by Huang, so that'll be the Buckeyes' first point, and that'll bring up the first Ohio State server, Mia Tuman. Native of Pennsylvania, touches the ball. Oh, she gets almost every second touch for Ohio State. Ooh, a bad touch there. Nice adjustment by Wong. Right down the middle. Too much to handle. A blast there by Riley Rader. Beautiful set to Riley Rader as well. She does an outstanding job in the middle. When the Buckeyes keep her super involved, that's when she's playing her best. When, when they haven't set her for a while and then they go back to her, it, it's tough for her to get in a rhythm. Right down the middle. It was looking like Russ dug out, though, by Tuman. Here's a free ball for Maryland. Ohio State returns the favor. The big swing from Schnitta. And Londot stuffs it. Not only can she get the big swing there, Hannah, she can get their hands up for the block too, although it carried out of bounds, they ruled. So it's a point for Maryland. Londot, that one much more definitive. Londot gets her redemption with that one and notches her first kill of the night. It's been an even match so far, obviously very early, but that's kind of what we can expect tonight. Both teams have played very similar styles throughout the season, have had some of the same struggles and issues where their record doesn't necessarily show how talented they are. Uh, service error for Emmy Selman. And again, that's we, we mentioned it in the open. I might mention it again. Errors have been the bugaboo, and trying to find a balance between aggression and caution has been a difficult one to find. Londot sneaks it in off the hands of the blocker, but perfectly placed. Londot, again, we mentioned she second in the Big Ten in kills, but 
She's outstanding. She has more than 400 kills so far this season alone. She averages more than 4 per set, but she's on her way because she already has two so far in the first set. New server, Riley Raider. And that's going to carry, but it's off the hands of the blocker up front. I think it's off of Londot, so point for Maryland. And it goes to the best server by aces in the country, Samantha Schnitta. Top in the Big Den, top in the USA. Look at this. There we go. She gets an ace. 68 now. Looked like it, it wasn't even going to make it over. Then it barely tips the net. I mean, Buckeyes did a great job of trying to keep that one in play. Her head coach Adam Hughes says she got this nasty spin serve. And I believe him after seeing a couple of those. That one just a little long, trying to hit that back zone. But again, that's the gamble you take being a really powerful server is some of them are not going to land in, but it's worth it. Clearly, it's working to her advantage so far this season. Yeah, you always want to find a balance. A balance of the ones that are going to be a little long versus the aces. As Londot serves for Ohio State. Scherer got it over, dug out by Hasbrook. Kept alive by Gunter. Little tap there, nicely dug out. Gunter kept it alive, bumped over though for the Buckeyes. Down the middle, Brandaway. Dowler, stuffed up front. Tuman and Brandewi held their ground, and uh, that means Londa will continue to serve. Tuman, we mentioned that she, as the setter, has just about every second touch, but she also has such a great presence at the net as a blocker. We'll see a lot of that tonight. Was that touched by Maryland? It was not. Brandewi was begging for it, but not rewarded. So Maryland keeps their lead. Ohio State thought they had it. We haven't seen any super close calls so far, but if there is a close call that coaches want a replay on, they can pull a challenge card. Each team gets two challenges. If you win the challenge, you keep it. If you lose the call, you lose your card. If the game does go into a fifth set, each team gets one more challenge. That was right at... Londot's knees and she kept it alive. Dowler looking for Sire. Webker. Nicely done. It's tied at seven. No separation for these hungry teams. Ohio State had won three in a row before getting swept away by Illinois on Saturday. Maryland comes in. Winners of their last two after a disastrous October. Sire, that was knocked down. Was it off of? Yes, it was off Selman, the Maryland native, point over to Maryland. Like you said, both teams seem to be building some momentum. Ohio State took down Iowa, Michigan State, and Michigan, who is their rival, before, like you said, falling to Illinois. But Maryland coming off of big wins against Michigan State and UCLA. Selman... Just kept alive by Rohrbach. Selman again, this time a full swing. Back row attack from Schnitta. Free one for Maryland. And they go Sire. And not able to connect it. Selman was already sprawled out, not able to extend her arms like Gumby. Beautiful tip shot and the perfect timing to do it. It was. Powerful swing after powerful swing, and that's a strategic time to send it over in a tip. Maryland starting to get a little bit of an edge and pull away. They got that two-point lead right now, set one. That's Ava Rohrbach, the native of San Diego, a sophomore. Just missing along that sideline. Maryland already has three service errors, so they have handed Ohio State three of their eight points so far. Olivia Hasbrook looking to hand Ohio State at least one more here, see if she can tie it up. 
Back row for Schnitta. Little change up up the middle. There's a good swing and we're tied. Riley Raider, eighth in the Big Ten in hit percentage, blasted that one in perfectly. And just like that, tied back up. We'll get another look at Raider's swing. Like I said, if Ohio State can keep her involved early, that's when she plays best. She has two kills so far. And an ace for Hasbrook. She led the Buckeyes entering today with aces, and that's now her 26th. Overall, Maryland, they have a lot more aces than Ohio State, especially per set, but when you have Schnitta, you can expect that. Sire. Oh, man, a big swing from Sire. Bent back Webker, and Maryland ties it, 10. Sydney Dowler, Dowler will serve, native of Wisconsin, a fifth-year player for the Terrapins. Londot sets it over. Sire and Corks one long. Do a little matrix move along the sideline there, Hannah. <laughs> I know, right? Back to the top of the service rotation for the Buckeyes, Mia Tuman. Schnitta. Here's Londot. She has a mean swing, and that was off of Sire. Perfect line shot for Londot. They were saying in a match earlier this year against Michigan that when she had a swing and the ball flattened on impact, went from being a sphere almost <laughs> to just a cube. You know, Coach was telling us no one in the gym had ever seen anything like that. Everyone was appalled. So if that tells you anything about her power. And Jen, Jen Flynn Oldenburg, quite accomplished volleyball player herself. We asked her, who do you not, who would you like to least re uh, receive a serve from or a hit from? And Londot with that flattening, la flattening hit, definitely the pick. It's another point for Ohio State. Yeah, she didn't even hesitate when we asked that question. She said Londot right away, which I think I'd agree with her. I would be afraid to go against Londot as well. <laughs> Here's Emmy Selman looking to strike some fear into her home state team. Scherer got a swing on it, but it was too long. Ohio State building a little gap here now, up three. We asked the uh, Coach Oldenburg, Flynn Oldenburg, if Selman and uh, her teammate Zaria Ragler, both from Maryland, they're especially excited about this match, and they said, no, they're treating it as just any other one. Does that serve a little long? They weren't making extra crab cakes or anything all week in anticipation. <laughs> Here's the Florida native, Lily Gunter. Cut there from Raider. Now she gets a reload at it. Kept alive by Tuman. Schnitta. That's going to carry off the Buckeyes. A good swing by Schnitta. So just her first kill of the day, and you can expect her to get a, quite a few more opportunities. She will. She was in a back row rotation for a while, and they were still setting her up in the back row because she has so much power, but she's most utilized in the front. Which is exactly where she finds herself now. Here's Hasbrook. Londot. Was that off of Maryland? No. Ohio State says it definitely was. Will we have our first challenge? You better believe it. So challenge number one, and this is to see if the ball was off of Maryland or not. The Terrapins currently, as it stands, on a 3-0 run. Like, you don't want to leave a Londot shot up for, you, know, you don't want to just let that go lying down. 
Right. And, you know, we're going to get another look at it here, except it's pretty hard to tell from this view. They actually have net views from the cameras down there that they will evaluate on, and they can slow it down and play it back. So tough angle to see. And, of course, the action is happening so fast that – it's normal for the officials to miss a call every now and then. So that's why these challenges are so useful. Does it glance across the fingertips of any of the frontline Terrapins? By the way, impressive mustache there by the usher. Very. That's not messing around. That's almost as impressive as a swing from Emily Londa. <laughs> I'd agree with you. They're taking their time to evaluate this one. It's a tough call to make. Like we said, if the call is overturned, the Buckeyes will get to keep that challenge card. But if they if they say there was no touch on that hit, then Maryland will keep the point. Buckeyes will only have one challenge card left. And you don't really you don't you don't have this isn't like football where you have an assistant here you go to get the dance moves in. Or you don't have an assistant just watching the game or having their own replay or anything. The coaches they really trust their players for these challenges. And the immediate reaction by Ohio State made it a no-doubter for Jen Flynn Oldenburg. And we'll see if her trust is rewarded. And, and it, it was. was. In synchronicity, <laughs> too. Jinx. So Ohio State gets the point there. There was a touch on that block. So... Like you said, the coaches trust their players so much with these challenge calls. We're going to see again this swing. They say that was touched, even if it's just the tip of a finger. Instantly, all the Buckeyes' hands go up, and they say there was a tip there. And Ava Rohrbach, she clinched her fist, too, just as uh, trying to avoid it as we're at the first 1-15 to timeout. Let's check in. Just hand, feel the match so far. It's back and forth affair. Ohio State's got the slight lead, but with two teams that are so close in the standings, so desperate for a win, you can expect a little seesaw. Definitely. It's been very back and forth when we look at the attacking. Ohio State has eight kills and two errors, which has given them a little bit of an edge. Maryland has six kills and three errors. Both teams have three service errors, so canceling each other out just a bit. And both teams have one ace, which, again, cancels each other out. So it's been very close back and forth. Scherer and Sire are leading Maryland. They each have two kills apiece, whereas Emily Londot has four kills for the Buckeyes, and Riley Rader is right behind her with three. There are three other Big Ten matches going on right now. Number four, Penn State. In Illinois, that match started at the exact same time as ours. So, shockingly, no sets have been won yet. Uh, not the case an hour ago. It began up in the Mitten State between Michigan and Michigan State. They're tied at one. Number 11, Oregon and Northwestern will play at 9 p.m. So that match has not started yet. Ohio State, they came into this year with so many expectations. And they don't feel like they're at where they, they're definitely not where they want to be in the win-loss column. And they need this one tonight. And Riley Rader, the native of Louisville, Kentucky, but a Buckeye at heart, serves. That was tough to dig out, and Selman did, but the scramble was on. Rader couldn't catch up, and Maryland is down one. Here's Schnitta. And again, watches just wicked serve. That's savage. Another ace for Schnitta. That's her second one of the first set. And poor Olivia Hasbrook back there, the freshman, putting her life on the line. Another one, back to back, back to back aces for Samantha Schnitta. I mean, the power of her serve, it all starts with her toss, as you'll see again here. So much spin on it. Hasbrook able to keep that one in play this time. Londa just gives it up over to Maryland. There's Scherer. Outside to Webker. And a block by Maryland, and the Terrapins are looking great right now. That's three unanswered. 
I mean, Schnitta came up in the serving rotation just in time for Maryland as they needed to make a, a bit of a comeback and establish a lead, and that's exactly what they've been able to do. And slight correction, four unanswered by the Terps. Londot deals with their counterpart. Gets the swing, but was blocked by Kate Scherer. Five unanswered by the Terps. Timeout on the floor, trying to snap the momentum. Samantha Schnitta gets back to serve. Two aces, and Maryland's on a roll right now, Hannah. Maryland is doing an outstanding job, obviously led by the power of Samantha Schnitta's serve. She has all three of the Terrapins aces so far in this first set. That's her, it might be a challenge here. Already one successful one, and they're gonna look at it. So the net violation question, now watch this replay when it comes up. It looked to, it looked to my untrained eye that the Maryland setter backed up too much into it, and so we'll see. We'll so see. we'll see. Clearly they saw the net shaking, and they did call it on Ohio State, so we're gonna look here. Now the question is the, sh the shoulder up front, you see the pad of the chest too, of the Maryland player, did her shoulder clip it because you had one of the Buckeyes had, was going up for the swing and so you could see how it might be a little confusing. They almost were just directly across the net from each other. Yeah, that was Eloise Brandoe. We're gonna see, are they calling that she, oh, the net shook in my opinion before Brandoe even got That's up. That's what I'm saying. I thought it was the, it was the, uh, my, my guess was the, I don't want to make any of our Maryland constituents mad, but I think it was, it looked like the setter for the Terrapins might have drifted a little bit too far back into the net. And so when she jumped, she hit it, which looked like Brandoe who was moving. And that is exactly the call. And that is why those challenge cards are so important because in the moment, it's so hard to make that correct call when the net shakes like that, but they get another look at it and you called it perfectly. That was, it was Sydney Dowler and right when she did it, she patted her chest, said whoops, and then was tried to sneak away with it to <laughs> no avail. Elondot continues to serve and right into the net. A break for Maryland right after Ohio State caught one. Also important to note, Ohio State won both their challenges in this first set so far, so they still have those and can carry them through. It's only when the call does not go in your favor that you lose that card. Here's John Spawn, a native of Lewis Center, Ohio. Playing back in the Buckeye State. Brandoe welcomes her back home with a ferocious right. Now here's Reese Webker trying to tie this one up at 19 in a back and forth first set. Back row from Schnitta and Maryland's the first to 20. It's kill number three from Schnitta. Schnitta. Sire and Scherer are the leaders. Try saying those last names all together three times fast. Nice point there for Ohio State, but yeah, it's a, that's a law firm that you want to be very careful with the, uh, the dump button, just yeah. in case. <laughs> now here's Hasbrook. Already has an ace tonight. Sire kept alive by on the back row by Webker. Selman stuffed again. That front line defense for Maryland impenetrable at the moment. And Stasi Russ, the 6'5 grad student, is a handful. Now here's Dowler. Selman this time left no doubt, took on the blocker and drove it through. 
huge swing from Selman. She was due for a kill. She just got her first one of the set. She's got high expectations for herself, for the program, trying to, to deliver against the Terrapins. Sire. Oh, that's just going to drift out of play. Uh, it looked like Hasbrook didn't, definitely didn't get the bump on it that she was hoping for. Here's Sam Sire, another Ohio native on this Maryland team. Into the net it goes. Keeps the Buckeyes alive, down one. Emmy Selman from Burtonsville, Maryland. Missed most of the non-conference, almost all of it with an injury. Chance to strike back. Londot. Webker, a little long. It hit the shoe of the uh, referee on the sideline and she stands out of bounds. And remember how we talked about, Coach JFO told us her team has been missing wide and long. That's exactly what we're seeing. Six attack errors so far for Ohio State and it's put them behind Maryland, but not too far behind. Riley Raider. Yeah, with the dunk right down the middle. Now this gets a very, all the work's cut out now as a timeout on the floor. So Ohio State needs to get on a bit of a run. The chance for error is much slimmer now in a back and forth first set. And you know, we look at those, just glance at those numbers, Hannah, as, as tight as it could be. It really is. And you know, I think this was a great time to call a timeout as we talked about. Calling a timeout when any team is getting in a rhythm is a great opportunity to break up their serving momentum, but it's been neck and neck all the way. Be aggressive, but not in error. Big swing by Schnitto. It won't even get to Londot. That breezed by Mia Tuman. Schnitto with her fourth kill and yeah, Londa didn't even get a chance there to return it back. And now it's set point for Maryland. And timeout taken by Ohio State. Critical juncture here. So you have to be able to have the serve-receive game work great for you for the Buckeyes. And then they'll need to get at least one point from your server just to try to force the effective overtime here in set number one. This is the 25th meeting between these two teams, by the by. Ohio State has the overall lead, 17-7. They've been really good at home. They've won 11 of the 12. Samantha Schnitta. Free to work with for the Terps. Snapped over. Londot. Schnitta kept it alive. Share. They play back row and long by Selman. So the first set goes to Maryland in a tight one, 25-22. The Terps take set one and will take a breather before set number two. Set one to the Terrapins. Maryland took it 25-22, and with no small thanks to Samantha Schnitta, who head coach Adam Hughes called the big rock of the team. And she definitely was the rock of the first set. Schnitta had four kills and no errors, so she plays very clean as well. Not to mention four digs, and of course, all three of Maryland's three aces in that first set, so She's a go-to in just about every scenario and definitely led Maryland to the win, but Sire was right behind her. She also had four kills of her own and a block, so she has some help and some backup offensively as well. 
Jenna might be the easiest player on the floor to spot besides the libero because she's got that towel just hanging off. But she's like a quarterback. <laughs> yeah. Just want to make sure you're playing outside. You know, it's the, it's the fall. You got to have the towel. <laughs> But uh, Schnitta has been outstanding, a native of Overland Park, Kansas. And it's going to be interesting to see how Ohio State handles being behind, Hannah. That one of the keys that Jen Flynn Oldenburg looks for is just the demeanor of her players, that they can stay up, stay positive. And, you know, she credits a lot of that to Emily Londot, who's obviously their leader. She said if Londot can play relaxed and smiling and carefree, then she knows her team is in good shape. So... Something to look for as well is the demeanor of Londot. As Coach says, it impacts the demeanor of her entire team. But Buckeyes not with the start they wanted, trailing one. Londot, that looked like it was off the fingers, and that looked like it stung. Occupational hazard playing against Emily Londot. And Londot gets her sixth kill of the night. Here's Emmy Selman. Emmy Selman struggled with some errors in the first set as we have a service error from her there. She had only one kill and four attacking errors, which is really unlike her. So she'll be looking to get in more of a groove in the second set. Yeah, four attacking errors and now the service error. They need her. Back pass to Schnitta, and it's a bullet. Holy mackerel. That was two Selman, and I don't blame her for not being able to field that one. Amazing attack from Schnitta. She's known primarily, like we talked about, for her serving abilities, but she's 12th in the Big Ten in kills. And an ace for Lily Gunter. Gunter fourth on the team in aces. That's now her 20th. So that slides her up into third. So it's not just a Schnitta monopoly now. Gunter gets into the act in Maryland. Off to a big lead here early. Webker. The Buckeyes battle back. Down two. So here's Riley Raider. Brings a calming presence to the team. Just very steady out there. Never seems like the moment's too big for her. Stuffed up there and not able to chase it down. Londot, Brandewi held their ground. That was a huge block from Londot and Brandewi. And the Buckeyes are inching their way back in. They were down by three, now just down by one. Riley Raider, like you said, brings a calming presence, but she's also the first one to have a big smile on her face and get so excited when her team wins a point. Webker crafty to dig that one out. Lawn dot, a little tap. Raider bails him out. This is an overpass that stayed in. And Schnitta carries right back over to her. Big swing by Scherer. And the double touch is a point over to Maryland. So that opening flurry from the Terrapins. Uh, Ohio State's weathered it. They're still down two. And here comes the best server in the country, at least the most ferocious. Randewi. Webker. And the point to the Buckeyes. That Ex one bounced off Sharer's shoulder. She was able to laugh that one off. She turned into it. We'll get another look at it. Sharer turns, lets it bounce right off, but she shook that one off. She seems like she's okay. And Londot is serving now for Ohio State as they're trailing one. Oh, an Olay there from Gunter. Yeah, it's great floor control there by Lily Gunter, a fifth year. 
The experienced libero for the Terrapins knew exactly where she was. Here's Jonna Spahn. Webker, a good swing, but it's right through the five hole of our referee. So to count it, it would have been great in hockey, but it counts for the Terrapins. And Ohio State's going to pull their challenge card again. They think there was a tip on that ball. I'm not going to lie. I thought there was a touch just from our view up here. But, again, we don't have the best view. So I got gonna... a great view. Great <laughs> okay, view yeah. here at Cabela We have Center. a great view. We just don't have the up-close view to be able to tell if something was touched. Yes, I yeah, should rephrase yeah, that. Hannah, Hannah didn't run down middle play to just get that <laughs> judge's view. So we'll see what they determine. Yes. Now, was there a touch so far for Jen Flynn Oldenburg? These challenges have been outstanding. They've worked out great for her. She's two for two. So she used both, uh, both challenges in the first set, pulling out a third one here in the second set. But it makes all the difference. So if she has the faith in her team, they're saying that was a touch, then it's important to pull that card. She didn't even hesitate. She went right over and pulled it. Here's our replay of it. Well, there's the finger of Rohrbach. Rohrbach this time. Now, every time we've had a replay, the Maryland player had a bit of a tell, whether closed fist, like, oops, or my bad was one of them. That time, Rohrbach acted a lot more naturally like it didn't touch her. So we'll see how the referee determines it. And they're still deliberating. The longer they take, then you know it's really a close call. But it's nice because it gives both teams a, a chance to regroup a little. And as we see Ohio State talking through some things on the side, but a decision has been made. This feels like the NFL draft. <laughs> Let's get the music in the background. And the selection is... Maryland, it didn't touch anybody. There was no touch, so Ohio State, for the first time, will lose a challenge card. They have one remaining. Unless, of course, this match goes into five sets, they'll get an additional one. Maryland is yet to pull a challenge card, and they're holding this lead by three. Yeah, Adam Hughes is just rolling with it, having a great time. He might not even know where his challenge card is anymore. <laughs> Webker dug out of the net. Little helter-skelter for the Buckeyes. And the point for Maryland, it is all Terrapins right now here in set number two. So here's Grace Egan, the redshirt freshman, in for Webker. Buckeyes trying to mix it up a little bit. As Spawn drops that one just in front of Selman. Brandowie, a mighty blast. The margin is three. Here's Grace Egan. Egan sprawls out for Londot with the left. They're looking for Londot. Back row attack. And did that hit the line? No, just wide of it. That one was ever so close. Buckeyes are potentially pulling another challenge. And I think oh, they are. Yeah. They think there was a tip on that ball. I thought, now, our angle is where this camera's at, so it's not the best angle to read this. But I thought it, it, would looked, it looked close to being on the line from here. And now, uh, was it touched again? Yeah, so. Familiar sight here tonight. Coach JFO, she was yelling at her player in their way. And it and doesn't. It doesn't. Jen Flynn Oldenburg, she treated those challenges like you can't take it with her. 
And they're all gone now. They are all gone. And Maryland still has two in their pocket. And the capable server, Ava Rohrbach. Really taking ownership of the team this year, not letting, waiting for others to step up. She's been doing it herself. Back row attack from Schnitta. Sailed back over there by Egan. And a snap around right in the middle by Sydney Dowler. I don't know how that got over, but what a play. Wow. I was struggling to even see that one. I couldn't even tell that one went over for a minute, but excellent play. Biggest lead so far of the night. Maryland leads 10 to 5. There's a slight delay for the perspiration mop. And now Ava Rohrbach. Just a bit outside. Keeps the Buckeyes in it. Now here's Olivia Hasbrook. And you mentioned earlier that there have been a few errors by Maryland so far tonight that have just kind of hand, kept handed it to the Buckeyes. Hasbrook. Ooh, tough. Wasn't filled, fielded very cleanly, but Sire gobbles up Egan. And that's the struggle with making a substitution as Egan came in into the second set for the first time tonight. It takes a second to adjust to, to game time action. So that was the first really hard hit ball that Egan has seen so far, but she'll adjust. Selman. Right down the middle, repelled up front. Ohio State standing tall with Raider. Top of the service rotation for Ohio State, Mia Tuman. Her, her coming, her finding her way to Ohio State was pretty easy. Jen Flynn Oldenburg was the club director for her when she was growing up. Raider, Tuman, Selman! She needed that one. She did, as we said, Selman struggled with airs throughout the first set, but that's her second kill, both of which have come in this second set. And it was huge. The Buckeyes, as you said, they need her involved. Wong sets this one outside. Londot. A sprawling effort there from Spawn. And sneaking along the outside. Another key point for Maryland and a key point from Sam Sire. Sam Sire now leads all attackers and kills. She has seven so far and only one error. She's been outstanding for Maryland. Londa gets a swing out of it and an answer. An answer is right. It's like Londa heard me say that Sire was leading all attackers because now they are tied with seven kills apiece. I think you're right. I think she was listening and said, nah. -uh. She said, not I, on my watch. I can't let that stand. <laughs> Nitta had to bump it over. Londot begging for it. Londot uncorks one. It stays alive. Egan. Schnitta. Point for Maryland. Wow, great defensive efforts by both teams there. An exciting rally that Maryland comes up out on top to win. But it's the line shot by Schnitta that seals the deal. Gunter to serve. She's got one of the four Maryland aces. Tuman sets us for Egan. Little flick of the wrist. And a block by Londot. 
that got Emily Londot smiling ear to ear. And remember we said that Coach JFO told us if she's smiling, then the Buckeyes are in good shape. They can relax a little. So although they're still trailing three, they have Riley Raider back to serve. Smiling Buckeyes are dangerous Buckeyes in volleyball. That one looked like it was off of Ohio State. Maybe Brandewee, and it's another point for Maryland. Building that lead. Knocking on the door of that first one to 15 timeout, and here comes Schnitta. And Schnitta also joined the seven kill club along with Londot and Sire. Hammer down Main Street. And that again is credit to Schnitta's serving power because Buckeyes overpassed that one and Maryland was able to answer back. That was Ava Rohrbach who let out a roar. 15-10. Hannah, we're looking at this one and it just seems the Ohio State's shown some fight, but Maryland seems like they're just in control. I would agree with you. Maryland, they have not have that depth. But if you look at the numbers, it really all comes down to attacking errors because the Buckeyes have more kills than Maryland so far. But Ohio State has more than double the attacking errors than Maryland. And again, that's, that's what it's coming down here, down to here today is that the Buckeyes have not been able to clean up their offense, whereas across two sets, Maryland only has five attacking errors, which is pretty clean. Looking at aces, aces as well, there's a big distinction. Maryland has four aces where Ohio State only has one. So at the end of the day, it really does come down to that serve pass game, and that's where Maryland has been able to dominate. Elsewhere in the Big Ten, as we have a moment, fourth set, Michigan State leads Michigan 2-1. to one. That is decent news for whoever wins today. Brings back Michigan a little bit. Uh, Penn State leads Illinois, the number four Nittany Lions, 2 0. And we're just wrapping up the second set. And we turn our attention to our second set, where it's 15 10, and Samantha Schnitta is still serving. Man, that's a mean serve. What a great pass by Londot. Overpass over to Maryland. And a big cut that looked like it was just wide, and it was. It has to be so exciting to, to break the momentum of Samantha Schnitta serving, you know, to win that point and to know, okay, we can go through another rotation until we have to receive a serve from her again. She, I think that's a good point because it, it is where if her not serving multiple times is a win, as is an ace by Londot. There we go. There's that smile from Londot again as the Buckeyes are just trailing by three now. That's her 23rd ace of the year. Emily Londot keeping Ohio State alive here, down three. A big wind up from Rohrbach was repelled. And Egan was stuffed. Rohrbach holds her ground. It looked to be a good swing by Egan, but Rohrbach was perfectly placed. And so back to serve is Jonna Spahn. Egan tries it again, stuffed again. Third time. This time it squeaks over. There's Sire. Here's Tooman. A couple options. Brandewee. That's off of the battle back here, down five, with Warbach, who just picked up an ace serving. Selman. Uh, looked a little long, and it was. And it's just right on the razor's edge, Hannah, between being in and out, so close. 
And that's kind of how Ohio State's luck has been. They've had a few that have been right on the edge, but make that attack air number 13 for the Buckeyes. And they give Maryland a six-point lead here. Maryland also took set one, if you're just tuning in, 25 to 22. Big swing by Brandewi and furled some frustration, but carried too much pace on the ball and the Terps of the first one to 20. Ohio State still has a timeout left to use and I anticipate they will use it here soon if the game continues to get away from them. Back row attack by Londot and that was off a tip. So Ohio State creeping back a little bit but Maryland's got a big lead right now. And back to serve is Olivia Hasbrook. Who has been a pretty good player tonight. Been on the wrong end of a couple serves from Schnitta. But other than that, kept that alive by Selman. Londot, the floater was well done. Buckeyes need to get on a bit of a run. Back-to-back -back points by Londot. <laughs> Kept alive by Londot. Selman. Drifting under was Gunter. Schnitta from the back row. Selman hit that one coming down, not the peak of her jump. Bumped over, free one for Ohio State. Raider. Selman from the left. Point for the Buckeyes. That's three in a row for Ohio State. And three kills from Emmy Selman as she's starting to find a groove as this second set progresses. Hasbrook back to serve again. As you said, she's been very impactful defensively. She has seven digs so far. She has an ace and an assist. And just missing was Selman. Or correction was Hasbrook. You can see the uh, referees in scarlet and gray in the bleachers disagreed with it. But again, there's nothing the Buckeyes can do if they disagree with the call because they are out of challenges already. Raider. Kept alive by Maryland. Sire just has to hit it over slightly. Raider tried to dunk it over. That's Schnitta. And it was played off Selman. And Maryland's on the threshold of going up 2 nothing. Schnitta gets her eighth kill, and that's going to push the Buckeyes to a timeout. And we'll take one as well. Maryland leads 22-16, closing in on a second set victory. Her way back, she wants to see her team swinging. She told us, I'm not going to sub someone out for errors if they're being aggressive. There's a swing, but it was blocked by Schnitta. Schnitta and Rush held their ground. And Selman, Selman hasn't really been hitting the ball at its peak tonight. That one driven right into those forearms. Londod got a swing on it. Schnitta does too. Looked a little long, and it was. And there we go, coming out of that timeout. We started seeing some swings from Ohio State. Now, not asking a lot here, but Mia Tuman needs to get on a whale of a run. And she didn't. So set point for Maryland. 
as we had a really tight first set and a much more dominant by Maryland second set. And they are right about to throw it, close it out. And here's Sam Sire, a native Ohioan. Good swing by Raider. Some life in the Buckeyes as they stave it off a little bit. And now here's Emmy Selman who needs six points in a row in some form or fashion. Kept alive, great effort there by Tooman. Great effort again by Tooman. Egan hits it over. Stuffed by Raider. Schnitta. And then Selman trying to keep it alive, could not find Londot. And Marilyn gets another kill from Schnitta, and they have a commanding lead here in Corvelli Center. Taking set number two, 25 18. Maryland got on a run and kept it throughout that entire second set. They're led by Samantha Schnitta. She has nine kills on the night, three aces, eight digs, and a block. So she's just about everywhere on that stat sheet. There will be a five-minute break in between sets two and three. Buckeyes can have a bad, bad spot while keeping theirs alive. And not to mention, Ohio State has to turn around and play again tomorrow as they host Rutgers. So if they want to set the scene for a good weekend, they at least want to pull out and come out on top in this third set. Samantha Schnitta has been the leader for Maryland nine kills. Emily Londot, the leader for the Buckeyes. So I don't want to say we called it, but leading into this match, we said it was going to be the Londot and Schnitta game back and forth. Yeah, I don't want to say we called it, but but we did. <laughs> but we did. The, uh, <laughs> the issue also, we talked about this in the open, errors, and they have been very problematic for Ohio State as Wong will serve to begin set number three. There she drifts under. That's Schnitta, who was stuffed, but it carried out of bounds, and that's a scene we've seen a few times tonight. But those attacking errors, Hannah, 15 by Ohio State, 8 by Maryland, that channeling the aggression is too many times tonight for the Buckeyes tipped over the threshold. And, you know, I also, we have to credit Maryland's defense. They have been outstanding, shifting and covering and keeping so many really challenging balls in play. So their defense is led by Lily Gunter. She has 11 digs so far. The Gunter, 12th in the Big Ten in digs. Long keeps it alive. Russ tips it over. Londa gets a swing that was stuffed right back by Russ, who did the, the Kimbe Matumbo finger wag. Here's Sam Sire. And I realize that the Kimbe Matumbo reference is a, you know, about 20 years out of date. <laughs> Look, it went over my head. <laughs> the late Dikembe Mutombo. It was great. He used to wag his finger every time he got a block. And there is a off the tip a point for Ohio State. Two to the score. Riley Raider will serve for Ohio State, native of Louisville, Kentucky. She's one that her head coach said that it be sad to see her go. She's just been such an integral player for Ohio State her whole career. Long kept it off the net, and Russ with anger right down the middle. Russ gets her first kill of the night so far, and it was a big one. That one was no doubt. It was one you didn't even move. There's, there was no getting under that one. Here's Lily Gunter. Been a good player tonight for Maryland. And not able to drift under it. Oh, and Ohio State gets an unlikely point to tie it up at three. So here's Emily Londot, native of Ohio. 
said that she handles a big low. They ask her to do a lot, and she handles it gracefully. And gets an ace! Ace number two for Londot tonight. And the Buckeyes take the lead, which they struggled with in the second set. So they've definitely had a bit of an energy shift. It can be tough after you lose the first two to come in with a lot of momentum in the third. But Ohio State's done a good job of that so far. Back row attack from Londot. Kept alive by Gunter. Brandewee, there's Wong. Schnitta. And Selman not able to control it. Tied at four. And here comes Samantha Schnitta. She had three aces in the first set. Almost got a fourth. And a blast right down the front by Scherer. Wow. She's smiling ear to ear. She really capitalized on that overpass and went for it. And Schnitta back to serve again. Londot. Brandewee keeps it alive. Londot a second swing. Schnitta dealt with it. That was Scherer. Now Egan with a touch. 5-5. Five, five. The notice, it seems second set on, Hannah, that Ohio State has really been able to handle the serves from Schnitta much better. Definitely. You know, it, it's probably a bit of a, an adjustment they had to make, but they've done a great job. And Grace Egan, she subbed in in the second set, but... She's starting to warm up as well. She just notched her second kill. Now she's back to serve for Ohio State. So Grace Egan, who is a sub in the second set. After the floor has been mopped, here she goes. An ace for Egan. There we go, just like we said, she's warming up. That was a really great substitution in my opinion because she's been able to shake things up and sometimes that's just what you need when your current rotation is not working. Stepping into a share. Repelled by Brandewee. Ohio State on a run now. That's 3-0 by the Buckeyes. Egan continues to serve. The swing there by Schnitta that's dealt with. Selman is going to carry all the way back over to Ohio State. Brandewee tracking down Gunter. You get a slight hit on it, and slight was more than enough. That was Katie Shear, a freshman, with a senior bump. I guess a senior little change-up hit. It wasn't a bump. Yeah, we'll get a look at it. A little bit of just a roll shot over the net. But it was all she needed. She had the biggest smile of the night on her face when <laughs> right when she hit that ball. So here's Spawn. Maryland in the rare spot of being down tonight. Selman. There's the one for Emmy Selman. So, so back to Olivia Hasbrook. Sire. 
Ooh, that's too close to the net. Sire couldn't get a swing on it at all. She's going to have a better chance here if they went to her. Londot into the net. That'll be too many touches. Just hit it low. And she's acting, uh, Londot's acting like she slipped. Which would make, the, which would make sense. Yeah, the crew does a great job of making sure there are no wet spots left on the court, but it's tough mid-play when different players are hitting the ground. Rohrbach digs it out. Sire gets a swing on it. Kept alive by Hasbrook. Overpass by Schnitta. Swing by Raider. The same that's off of Schnitta, and the referees agree. So Mia Tuman, the final server in the rotation, she led off the first and second set. Tuman tonight, 26 assists. Little snap around. Tuman leaves it outside to Londod. And the tip worked this time. I think it's all about using the tip as a last resort when you're not going to be able to, to get a swing by any means. And I think then coach is okay with it. I wish you might like it if it works. Yeah. <laughs> That's the also the 12th kill of the night for Londot. Overpass, free ball for Ohio State. Raider, it's all befuddled. Here's another one. Selman. That one hit the antenna for Selman. So point Maryland. It's a shame that was working out so well for the Buckeyes. Now Maryland just down two. Sydney Dowler served it right into the net. So to the top of the service rotation go Ohio State. Selman. Free ball. Raider, nicely done. Didn't get the big swing yet want for in those situations, but it was more than enough. Maryland calls a timeout. I saw that one coming. They're playing very sloppy and they're just out of their rotation. And it has been in some cases definitive, especially by Samantha Schnitta. Samantha Schnitta has three aces so far tonight, but the Buckeyes have been able to have a handful of their own. There's Schnitta right there with a powerful serve. A lot of different players getting in the mix with aces. Eva Rohrbach has one for Maryland. Lily Gunter has another. And Emily Londod has two for Ohio State. Selman looking for one. Overpass by Schnitta. Maryland not getting very many swings lately and Londod capitalizes. Kill number 13. Maybe more importantly, Hannah Wilford just got a hug from a princess, I think. <laughs> I happen to know some of the little cheerleaders that did a performance in between the second and third set, and they came up and said hello. Very sweet. Raider, <laughs> not so sweet. The dunk from the middle. Ohio State on a run, and they're going to take another timeout. This is... Back-to-back -back uh, back -back timeouts, Adam Hughes had not used any timeouts in the first two sets, but he feels this one ebbing away from the Terrapins. 
Right, and you know, if he can do anything to seal the deal in three sets, he's going to do that. So this one is starting to, to get away from them as they're down six now. But like you said, he didn't use any timeouts really, but he didn't need to because his team was sort of coasting through sets one and two. But now the Buckeyes are making them work for it a little bit. Ohio State, uh, looking at the schedule ahead, this is the first of four matches at home, a four-match homestand. The end of the season is not exactly one. I mean, it's, the, it's not Halloween anymore, but this is what it would look like in schedule form. But at Wisconsin, at Minnesota, both in the top 16 of the country, Wisconsin number six. Uh, so capitalizing on these home games, crucial for the Buckeyes, and they're trying to rally back down two sets here against Maryland. Here we go, both teams heading back out to the court. How will Maryland respond? That will determine where they go from here in set number three. Emmy Selman is behind the service line. Ohio State on a 4-0 scoring run. Selman looking to keep that rolling. Found Russ. They find Schnitta, and it's off the hands of Selman. That might have been deflected before it got to Selman, too. Yeah, it was definitely tipped off the block. But Schnitta got the job done. We'll see it here. Tipped by Londot and Raider at the net. Sam Sire to serve. Londot. Just snuck it in off the tip. Okay, it looks like Adam Hughes might be pulling his challenge card on that one. His using his first challenge. He's pulling out all the stops here He's in set number three. <laughs> Man, it's like he, he forgot he could use a challenge or a time. He didn't need to. But uh, that whole first set, he was like, I don't need it, no challenges. I don't need any timeouts. I'm just here to see some volleyball. And now he's using them all. And, you know, I, I would have used one there as well. Two reasons. One, even if it's wrong, he's getting a chance to get with his team again and talk through some things. But also, again, from this view, we are up a little high, but I didn't see a touch on it. So it was, it was hard to tell, but I didn't initially see a touch. Yeah, they're playing every time you touch, which is going to get the crowd <laughs> going. And Ohio State is hoping there was one. Yes. I wonder if they, they're playing that on purpose. <laughs> you know what? This is an institute of higher learning, and one of the premier ones in the Midwest, and I can imagine that they might be might have picked that one up. <laughs> yes. We mentioned what Ohio State schedule's like. Maryland will be home on Sunday against Penn State, and there was no touch. No touch. I didn't think I saw one, but again, I can't tell for sure up here, but Emily Londa, she went outside the block, and that one was out. So huge moment for Maryland because now they're just down four, and they get to keep that challenge card. So Maryland actually still has two challenges left. There's a nice swing by Egan. Egan answers back to that one. That's her third kill so far. But she came in a little bit into the second set, so she didn't play the whole first set. So she's done a great job since she's been in the game of making a difference. Here's Riley Raider to serve. Oh, man. To clear out. You don't want Russ coming at you. Russ waited until the third set to get activated, but she's had two amazing kills in this set. I mean, she's 6'5". She's when she gets that swing, it's like coming off of a mountain. Yeah. Gunter. Here's a little tap from Londot and a point for Ohio State. 16-11. Londot will serve. She's got a couple aces today. By the way, I'm still chuckling a little bit. Every time we touch, when they're reviewing, if there was a touch. If was, there was a touch. That was good. That was, <laughs> that was pretty slick. 
Ooh, second service error by Londot. Now here's Schnitta. If there's anyone that can get Maryland back in, it's her. Egan, nicely dug out by Gunter, kept alive by Dowler. And a point for the Terps. Just a little roll shot was all they needed. They were a little bit out of system, Maryland was, but they made it work. They're now down three. They were down six, so they have been fighting their way back throughout this whole third set. And again, if we've said it once, <laughs> we've said it a million times, Samantha Schnitta, she's probably the best person who can be serving for Maryland when they're behind. Look at that ace. That's for number four of the day for Schnitta. And Ohio State seen more than enough of it, taking the time out. But uh, don't look now, folks, but Maryland, you know, their, their emblem might be a terrapin, which is a, ostensibly a turtle, but they're slow and steadily catching back up. They are, they really are. They, uh, like we said, they were down by six, now just down by two. We'll take a quick breather, Buckeyes up two. Six of the last eight points have gone the way of the Mar Maryland Terrapins. And Schnitta, the most dangerous server in the country, continues. Ohio State called a timeout while she was serving to try to break her rhythm, but they weren't able to. Maryland keeps that ball in play. Overpass by Schnitta. Egan winds up. She's playing much better this set. Ohio State winning the battle in the trenches at the moment, but Shear, the missile. It's a one point game. We have to give the Terrapins so much credit. Great cross court shot there because they've been fighting back this entire third set, and now they're just one point away from tying it up at 16. Samantha Schnitta. She'll head back to serve again. She, just, she with the towel. Just in case you're not impressed enough by her four aces, she also has 10 digs, a block, 12 kills, and only one attack error. And another ace. That's five. And we're tied at 16. Samantha Schnitta is been, has been dominant tonight, and you can tell by A, that serve, B, those numbers that Hannah just read off. Mary, or Ohio State already tried to break her momentum with a timeout. They're not going to be able to do it again because they will lose a their six. last ace six. Wow. Sorry, Hannah, but That's ace okay. six. And Maryland takes the lead. They were down by six. It felt like a blink of an eye ago. The smiles are gone from Ohio State. They need to find them again because Schnitt is on a roll. Egan, the windup, they need it. Dug out, though. Egan, Schnitta kept it alive. These swings by Egan are outstanding, and she's going to switch it up with a roll shot, but Maryland got a good read on it. That was Allie Williams, who was all over, and Ohio State gets a much-needed point. We're tied at 17. That breaks the serve by Schnitta, which was... In any, uh, any way you could look at it, it was devastating in favor of the Terrapins. Egan's turn.
What about the play from Allie Williams along that back line? That was outstanding. She has seven digs so far tonight, Williams. Grace Egan, how about her attacks? She was hitting with everything she had. Oh, nice little flick over there by Selman. That sneaks in by Sydney Daller. And Maryland back in front by one. And I don't leave your point hanging. Yeah, Egan has played really well this set. But right now, Ohio State finds themselves where they've been a lot, down on the scoreboard. And they have to be really strategic about when they use this final timeout. Spawn sails. Back to 18 all. Here's Olivia Hasbrook. Had to adopt the libero role as a freshman. No easy task, been playing well. The back set, Sire, dug out by Egan with a slide and a dunk from Mia Tuman. The sophomore with anger. Ohio State leads. Mia Tuman's first kill, but she has 31 assists. So she has been working hard out there, contributing to Ohio State's offense. Yeah, 31 assists, 11 digs. Busy night for Mia Tuman. Yeah, make that contributing to the offense and defense. Sire gets a swing out of it. Selman gets a better one. Ohio State the first to 20. Five kills for Selman. That one got her excited. That was seemed to be just what she needed. She's had some bounce back kills, Selman has. Struggled at times tonight, but she has had some big moments. And misplay in an ace. Gunter might have taken her eyes off of it, but Hasbrook has ace number two of the evening. The freshman from Eureka, Missouri. Sire. Was that long? It was. Ohio State can feel it now. Down, they're up four. I thought for a moment that one might have been tipped, but there was no reaction by either side. So they'll keep playing. No challenge card. Yeah, Adam Hughes keeps it in his back pocket. He still has two after a successful first challenge. Sire kept alive by Egan. And a little bit of a miss there by Daller, but she composed herself again. Londot. Daller. Here's Sire. And a splash from Raider. It's all flowing the way of the Buckeyes right now. Samantha Schnitta pleading her case with the referee. Londot peeks over to give Ohio State's kit side. Ohio State up big in a do or die third set. They're down two overall. Free ball for Ohio State. Selman a tip. Sire missed it. Maryland making a series of mistakes that we haven't seen from them. And now it's set point for Ohio State, which means everyone in the Cavelli Center is up on their feet cheering. Hasbrook is still serving. And they'll cheer louder now. Set three to the Buckeyes. They battle back. 
And they take it 25-18. Set four, next. Beating to Maryland. They've been outstanding, limiting their errors throughout the first two and a half sets, but they started to crumble there at the end of the third. Some mistakes that we haven't really seen. Some serve receive errors. And if Maryland can clean that up and play like they were playing in set two, I think they'll be in good shape. Yeah, Raider, the highest hit percentage on of anyone tonight, but Maryland had in the middle of that third set, they had taken the lead, and it felt like everything was going their way, and then it just snapped back in favor of Ohio State as that ball is long, and Ohio and Maryland begins a set with a one nothing lead, which is just kind of how it goes. Seems familiar because they have scored the first point in all four sets so far. It's just their MO. <laughs> That's the Ohio native, Sam Sire. Ohio State was adjusting their personnel, and Sire has the green light. Big swing by Selman, who played much better in the third set. Tuman looks for her again, and the kill. Selman, six kills now, and like you said, she played a lot better in the third set. She's carrying that over into set number four. She struggled a bit in... You know, we talked off air that maybe she just wanted it too badly. That's that's how it was appearing, but she's getting comfortable and getting into a rhythm, and she's certainly a really important piece of Ohio State's offense. And that ball just fluttered away from Katie Scher. But as we talked, when we talked earlier this week to Jen Flynn Oldenburg, she said there's a, a player like Selman has friends on the Maryland team, so maybe it just took her a little bit to settle into this game. That carries a little extra weight being against their home state squad. And that looked like a, it was not, a, it looked like it was a good block by Ohio State. It wasn't point to Maryland. Lily and here's Lily Gunter. Began her collegiate journey at Mississippi State for gravitate, gravitating northeast to Maryland. Selman repelled. Maryland, they've done well in the transfer portal. They've also had to carry a heavy load with some injuries at the outside hitter spot. They've been through four different outside hitters. And right now, Katie Shear has been playing well, but she wasn't expecting to be carrying a big load at all entering the season. Raider kept alive by Gunter, but only for a moment. Three, three, the score. And it's Selman to serve. Terrapins collide. Dug out by Londot. There's Egan attacking the hand of the blocker and getting the point. Egan making a name for herself in this game against Maryland. Four kills so far, but that doesn't even show how powerful she's been, those four kills, because there were some moments there in the third set we're back to back to back. She was getting set and swinging with everything she had, making it really difficult on Maryland. She's a player that's really dealt with injuries her time here at Ohio State. They say that she's still just figuring it out on the floor. Well, she's figured it out in that third set. Schnitta. Oh, man, she's just perfect on those swings from the outside. Cross court, down the line, everywhere. 4-4 the score. Now Schnitta back to serve. 
First set, her serving was unstoppable. Second set, much more balanced. Ohio State had a good serve received. Third set was dominant again. And another ace, her seventh, here in the fourth. And that one was touched by a Buckeye player, but it all happened so fast because she serves it so hard. So a lead for Maryland. Into the net it goes. <laughs> Riley Raiders, she celebrated like it was. She went up and just intercepted it. <laughs> you have to celebrate once you don't have to. Yeah, for uh, sure. Face Schnitta for another moment in time. Riley Raider back to serve. And an ace. Miscommunication between Schnitta and Gunter. They thought it was out. Or at least they thought the other was going to take it. Can Raider keep it going? Off the block, Randewi. Egan, a, just a little nick off the net. And it caroms out of bounds. A point for Maryland, tied at six. This is the feel of the first set, Hannah. It's like you took that right from my mind. I was just thinking to myself, this is exactly like the first set. Back and forth and back and forth, really evenly matched. Here's Spawn. I did take it from your mind. <laughs> Peeked in. Oh, Brandewi. A ferocious right hook. And a point for Ohio State. Nudging the Buckeyes back in front. Emily Londot has two aces tonight. A slight hit there by Rohrbach. Egan with anger. Let's kill five. Grace Egan firmly checked into the game now. Schnitta, long set to Sire. Brandewi got her hands on it. Point for Ohio State. Momentum for Ohio State. And the lead is three. Emily Londot back to serve for the Buckeyes. She's done a great job serving with two aces so far. Sire. That's what Maryland needed, Sam Sire. Just finding a perfect spot between two Buckeyes. Here's Rohrbach. Sam Sire, she was really involved off offensively in the first set, but she's been a little bit more quiet, so if Maryland can keep her more involved. It'll work to their advantage, but the Buckeyes again leading by three. A growing lead for Ohio State as Egan will be the final server in the rotation. And a glancing blow, couldn't receive it well, an ace for Grace Egan. Timeout on the floor. Ohio State by four will take it too.
Well, at the end of the second set, it looked like it'd be all Maryland, but on this second half of that scoreboard there, the Buckeyes have been in control here for the last, what, seven points or so? Yeah, Ohio State has made a commanding presence in the fourth set. Just like they did in the third, really. They've carried it over. Grace Egan, who's back to serve, she's done a great job since she came in during the second set. She has five kills, eight digs, and two aces. Sire. Well, you mentioned the last kill she had where it's been a little quiet since the first set. Well, maybe Sam Sire is getting out of the slumber. And they need her to because Schnitta is still the only attacker for Maryland in double digits with 14, but Sire's right behind her with nine. Look at that craftiness. Mia Tuman. You think she sets it all the time? She gets all the second balls? Well, sometimes she can be a little lethal out there. Now here's Olivia Hasbrook. She's the Buckeye server that went on a run there at the end. Uh, it might be some questioning of the rules here with Adam Hughes, the head coach from Maryland. So the discussion ongoing at the net, that's what the wait is for. That's what Olivia's waiting on. It's Schnitta getting clarification from our stand judge. And now she's conferring with her head coach, Adam Hughes. Will he challenge? No. That was off Ohio State, point for Maryland. We're back into the seesaw. Ohio State gets a point, Maryland gets a point. But the lead of three has been something that Maryland hasn't been able to crest in some time. Here's Sam Sire. Schnitta. She swings hard and she swings accurately. She does, Schnitta with 15 kills so far. Her hit percentage, 46. You know what, the stat books actually just changed 16 kills and now she's hitting 500. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty good. That was blocked that time by Spellman, who reloads it. Kept alive again, that time by Sire. Spellman digs it off the floor. Schnitta. I'll take her hit percentage back down under 500. Egan. Londot stuck out. Point for Maryland. Wow, what a rally. The longest rally we've seen so far tonight. Maryland comes out on top with that point, but we have to give it both teams all over the court fighting to keep every single ball in play, but Maryland trailing just by one now. Yeah, kudos to both teams on that one. Tooman met her at the net. Repelled Russ, here's Tooman again, this time setting Spellman, who sails it too long into the Maryland bench. All tied at 12. Timeout on the floor. We'll take a breather as well. The Terps battle back, and we're even.
Wasn't set, moving as she swung. Hit it low. Well, here's Mia Tuman who's had done yeoman's work inside. Oh man, Schnitta unleashing some frustration on that swing. I mean, that's just such a tough one to get underneath if there's nothing taken off of it with the block. So really powerful swing by Schnitta to tie things up yet again. And we're, we are seeing a repeat of set one with the back and forth early on, but there's an ace. Oh, that just dotted that corner. I mean, I don't know if she could do that again if she tried. Lily Gunter is so perfect. Egan and Londot tried to follow that one to the line, and they literally did. They called it out while it hit the line. It was a very good serve. Raider with a punch. Oh, Shearer floats it over. Londot dug out by Williams. And through the fingertips of Tuman. It's a point for Maryland, and they're up two. And now, back in that first set, this is about the point when Maryland started to drift away. Ohio State has to reel them in. If Maryland wins this set, it's over. Londot, how about that? Not the most dramatic kill, but a kill nevertheless. Number 15 of the day. Schnitta. Oh, I'll tell you what, the two players we highlighted in the opening, Samantha Schnitta, Emily Londot, they have lived up to their top billing tonight. They certainly have Samantha Schnitta. 17, make that 18 kills as it updates while I'm talking about it. Only three attacking airs, seven aces, 13 digs, and a block. But Emily Londot, she's smiling, which means the Buckeyes can relax. Londot, 15 kills of her own, an assist, two aces, 13 digs, two blocks. So talk about two players really doing it all. Both amazing leaders for their team. There's Riley Raider, who's also had a good night for Ohio State. Kept alive by Brandewey. Tuman finds Egan. Not a full, ferocious swing by Egan. The snap around is flicked up by Tuman. Back row attacks, Selman. A tip from Brandewey. Shear hangs on the net. Shear this time, more direct. Shear stuffed, but point for Maryland. It came down on the side of the Buckeyes, so Maryland pulling away by two again. Maryland leads two sets to one, so this is a must-win set for the Buckeyes to stay in it. And right now, you can see that scoreboard. Maryland up two. Shauna Spahn, native of Ohio. Olentangy High School. A little misplay by Egan. Bailed out by Spellman to Egan. Brandewey. One point game. And here's Emily Londot, the star for Ohio State, one of the best players in the country. One point game, both teams have a timeout left to use. Maryland has one challenge card left to use. Buckeyes have none. Kept alive by Selman. Brandewey, oh, back to back kills. Tied at 17. Brandwee with nine kills now. Making her presence known offensively.
Emily Londot. Into the net. Who's going to seize this fourth set? Here's Ava Rohrbach. She's been playing well of late. Coming on at the right time for Maryland. Tuman, Brandewi, too long. I can't help but laugh there at head coach Adam Hughes. He put both hands in the air and was waving them back and forth, yelling, no, there was no touch there. That was out. He's very animated on the sidelines. Not the full swing from Brandewi. She carried the last one too long. Perfectly placed by Sire. And it's Maryland who's taking the reins. And one of the reliable servers, Ava Rohr, stayed to snap this momentum from Maryland. You know, I think it comes down to activating Ohio State's offense is what gets them the most excited. Eloise Brandwee is in the front row, and she's been great. She's been turning up the heat. She has nine kills, but I think keep feeding her while she's hot. Ava Rohrbach will continue to serve. Into the net it goes. There's the timeout serve skunked. Coach's point. Grace Egan. Sire off the tip. They go to Selman. That looked perfect. One point game. Selman again, another kill. Emmy Selman, who has struggled tonight early, coming on strong, back-to-back -back kills for her. The float serve carried too much. And Maryland nudges back in front. Great call out by Maryland. They almost went for it, but they followed that one all the way out to the back line. I think Maryland, they, that defense, they've largely had really good court control today, at least court sense. Selman into the net. It'll be Dowler continuing to serve. Crucial point here for both teams. Point for Maryland! But it or seems not. like they might be calling four touches on Maryland. We'll see if well, Adam Hughes let that one go. It, here's a replay. One, two. Huh. I know there's a glancing blow. Let me just see that one again. But right now, Ohio State staying afloat. Adam Hughes. He's not pulling that challenge card, even though he has one. He's just going to keep rolling with it. All right. Maryland so close to it, just a stunning knockout blow. It is Ohio State down one. It's Hasbrook. And the sir, and that hit was long. Was it touched? It wasn't. There's the challenge card now. <laughs> he is adamant. Maryland's adamant. Ohio State might be. It might be. Uh, Hopeful here, we'll have to see the replay. 
I mean, there is nothing Maryland's been more certain. They might be more certain that that was, def- that was tipped than what their name is. I if mean, you, I, he if, pulled that green challenge card so fast. <clears throat> if you ask them right now, what are you more confident in, that your name is Maryland or that that was tipped? They would say it was tipped. I would agree. Here's the replay. And it looks like they might be right. Tuman saying it didn't hit her. It would be a crucial call here. We're either tied at 22 or Maryland has a big two-point lead late looking to close out Ohio State. I'll tell you what all the uh, junior cheerleaders and referees in scarlet and gray and the bleachers think. They think Tuman wasn't even close to it. Yeah. You know, because of how confident Maryland was, it makes me think that she might have had a touch on that, but... I wonder also, is it just the excitement from not challenging the four-touch, but it seemed like he conferred with his players and they, they agreed that it was. The official was that it was tipped. So Maryland leads 23-21. Sam Sire will serve. Sam Sire has served very well in this fourth set. Ohio State needs to get this point. Or it will look very bleak. Mondot, a little bit of a misplay. Got to get it over. Selman does. But it's too long. Game point, Maryland. Sam Sire, Londot, Selman, is it out? Maryland wins. Maryland takes the Buckeyes in four sets. They won set one, 25-22, set two, 25-18. Buckeyes fought back big in set three, coming out 25-18, but... Ultimately, the Terrapins closed it out in the fourth set, 25-21. They were led by Samantha Schnitta. She was outstanding all the way around. 18 kills, 15 digs, seven aces. More than anyone else on the court here today. Now, Emily Londot, she was a bright spot for the Buckeyes, 15 kills, along with Riley Rader who played a perfect game offensively with 11 kills and no errors, but it wasn't enough to keep the Buckeyes in the game. That's now three wins in a row for Maryland. It's a big one to keep their season afloat. They're at 500 now. And for the Terrapins, they'll be back in action on Sunday at home against Penn State. Ohio State will be here tomorrow against Rutgers trying to regroup. Uh, And what a performance by Maryland. What a performance by Sam Schnitta. Thank you for joining us, everybody. Alongside Hannah Williford, I'm Jonathan Mathis, bidding you adieu from Columbus, Ohio, where the Terrapins came and win three to one. Granada, but I'm going to tell them.